Uh, okay, let me start by our usual greeting. When I say men, arise. Men, arise. Arise. Oh, ye men. I'm not here that. I mean, if you are arising, then you have to stand up on your feet. When I say men, arise. Men, arise. God bless you. Um, on behalf of this sit down, on behalf of the chairman and the national overseer of the the Dean Christian Church of God, the chairman of the RMF, I bring greetings. He could not be here because he had to go out of town. Um, I want to congratulate the pastor in charge of religion and the president chairman of the Demons Men's Coalition in Religion 11. I also want to, on behalf of the board, congratulate all the planners, uh, Pastor Dania, Pastor Dan, and Pastor McCauley and, and their team. Now, we are grateful for the immense strength that the fellowship has taken in the mission in the last five years. Uh, uh, before now, we are splinter. We have excellent men, we have men of valor, we have, but now we, have, we are talking with one voice. Can we clap for Jesus Christ? <laughs> so anyone who is talking about excellent men, you just look at them now with some eyes that they're not correct. It's, it's the grace of God. It is delightful to know that the fellowship has found a direction, creating awareness among men in different regions and provinces on the demand of God has appointed for them. Not only in the family and church, but also in the society at large. This has, made, has been made possible through the newly found passion by men to make impact in their families and the church and also by employing the fellowship four platforms of activities and focus. We have four of them, and I'm sure by now we know them, faith, uh, we have family, we have finance, and we have fitness. And thank God for the theme of this con con conference. We, we have magic everything together. We are talking about finance, we are talking about family, and we are talking about le legacy. It is gratifying to know that the fire ignited more than five years ago is now burning brighter and brighter with greater networking and bonding visibly palpable among men. We now we are interacting with one another, another more, we are networking more, and the benefits are obvious. <laughs> Hallelujah. You are clapping with the clap for Jesus. I was again quickly reiterate that the main objective of the fellowship remains the empowerment of men. Whether it's fitness, whether it's uh, finance, whether it's family, whether it's faith, is the empowerment. Spiritual, marital, economical, and physical. We are not on the CSR assignment. Our goal is to empower every man in the redeemed Christian Church of God so that they can stand and contribute their own quota to the society. We must not veer away from this objective since it is our firm belief that an all round empowered man is not only an asset at home and church but also in the community at large. While appreciating where God has taken us, we need to understand and we cannot rest on our words until the empowerment message has been taken to the grassroots. We are talking about the zones, we are talking about the areas, we are talking about the parishes. We must now urgently move from regional and provincial programs to focus on creating awareness and values at the parish level. We need to reach out to the men at the parish level. The theme of this conference and convention, the mandate, is very hard. It's, in my own opinion, necessary for us to invest more in our future, leveraging on our present. And I believe that so far it has been excellent. 
can, can I talk, hear you talk from Jesus Christ? It's always great to learn, but it's more important to apply everything you have learned. So I believe that by the time this program is ending, we'll have gone, gone on with a lot of takeaways that we can implement. Don't let us not scare now. Let us also go and begin to implement at all levels. I believe that the, the best is yet to come for you and for your family and for the redeemed Christian Church of God. I wish you Godspeed and I know very soon we're going to take our place in, the, in this nation. And when we do, everybody will know that we have arrived in the mighty name of Jesus. Men, arise. Men, arise. God bless you.